Hey everybody, welcome back. Movie review time. We're basically, we geek out about a movie we just saw, and we just saw Batman versus Two-Face. <laughs> So, okay, so this is going to be our all the spoilers discussion. Basically, if you want to review, uh, go check out our no spoiler review mm -hmm. when there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. Click on that. Mm -hmm. Then come back here for spoilers when you're ready or if you just want to watch them back to back. This really is more of us just geeking out about the things we like. Um, these videos are meant to be kind of a part one, part two, but, you know, some people haven't seen it yet. So that's why we do the no spoiler thing. Um, so this just came out today. And again, I talked about it. Adam West. Um, William Shatner as Two-Face, and I told the story of how this came about and the history with Batman 66 in the No Spoiler video. Burt Ward, of course, back as Robin and uh, uh, Julie Newmar, Julie Newmar uh, as well as, well, we'll get to it. Um, so not again, this is spoiler, <laughs> hashtag not my cat no, no. Oh, so this is a spoiler video, this is gonna be all spoilers, so we're giving you a warning, you can get out, you can come back when you're ready, here you go. Spoilers! All right, they're all gone. Well, since I, my cat was dead, so. Yeah. Well, I was just about to say, since we're going right into it, and I almost said it anyways. Um, so we had the Julie Newmar Catwoman, uh -huh. but Lee Merriweather, is it Lee or is it Lee Ann Merriweather? Lee. Lee uh, so the second Catwoman, or the Catwoman, she was the Catwoman yeah. in the movie, right? I think so. Because Julie Newmar was on the series. Yeah, Eartha Kitt was in the series. Right, so yeah, Lee Merriweather went, well, there's this great moment that I loved, and I thought I had to look at the credits to see if that was actually her, and it was. But, you know, uh, Catwoman is in jail, she's dating Batman, Batman stands her up. She's got to she's got to break out. Mm -hmm. So she tricks the uh, Lee Merriweather DA. yeah, is playing the DA and she tricks her into the cell and they trade places. And Lee Merriweather mm -hmm. wakes up in the cat suit and at first she's horrified and then she starts looking at herself in the mirror and she's like meow or perfect <laughs> or something like right. that. And I'm just like, "Oh, they've kind of given us an in-universe yeah. um, explanation as to why that Catwoman existed." So I thought <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Uh, but what are some things you want to talk about spoiler-wise? Oh gosh, I there's For so once, I don't know, actually. I know, I was the one doing all the spoilers. Well, let's let's talk about Two-Face, since okay. he's he's the main thing of this. So, my, actually, one of the things that... I know they're cartoons. I know 66 <laughs> in particular. You should not apply too much logic to. But... There's some points where you have to go, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, even for cartoon uh, logic and stuff. And, 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 well, there's actually two things, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, the first one is, okay, okay Two-Face, Two-Face is Two-Face because Batman feels to sh completely shield him and thus half of him is exposed to this, this toxic gas stuff. Yeah, and that's cool. I like that. that. That's fine. Yeah. No problem with that. But. But, <laughs> when he starts exposing other people and you have full-on glass, you know, no protection or anything. Joker, Batman 89 style, gas yeah. in the city. <laughs> yeah. Still everybody, only half of them changes. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, and then I tried to justify with maybe they're doing a whole, it brings out the evil half of yourself, so you're in constant conflict. But then near the end of the movie, Two-Face becomes One-Face and goes full monster for yeah. a bit of it. Which is one of the things I was saying in the other video, like, there was some inconsistencies. And maybe that's happened in the comics and I've missed it. There were some incon right? There were some in inconsistencies for me with the way they handled Two-Face. Yeah. When he was Two-Face, when he was Shatner nailed it, killed yeah. it. And even as like the reformed Harvey Dent. Mm -hmm. And that was some of the thing that bothered me just right off the beginning. It's like um, literally the opening before the opening credit scene is awesome because they're bringing in all the villains and Dr. Hugo Strange has made a machine to suck out the evil and that's what, you know, the toxin that creates yeah. Two-Face. We even get Harleen Quinzel yeah. and Joker giving her some winks and her looking all awkward, so that was great. But then we go into the opening credits and then we come out of the credits and it's Harvey with a single face waking up in a hospital and like, oh, we fixed you. Because the opening <laughs> credits were like all the Two-Face adventures. Yeah. And of course, you know, it's like they haven't fixed him or whatever. But I was like, well, that was kind of weird to, to set all that up, but then immediately fix him and immediately go into this reversion thing. Actually, that was kind of weird that he knew he was Two-Face before he even saw himself in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was, it was, and that was the thing too. That beginning yeah. thing was a little bit rushed. But again, yeah. that's one of those things I'm like, ah, it kind of fits the 66 style. So that's I was kind of letting it go. And, and the thing is, it does have sort of a non-stop pace to it. Yeah, it is very, very fast-paced. But honestly, so did the original show. Yeah. For some of 66, the speed of that is pretty dang awesome. Um, but yeah, so then you kind of have our... And then there was one other bit, too. Uh, Robin is following Harvey Dent, mm -hmm. and he follows him back to the warehouse where they have the new and improved um, evil, machine. evil machine. And uh, he sees, he's talking to Harvey Dent right over here, and then Two-Face comes out of the shadows and knocks him out, but and I was like, oh, so is this somebody playing? And, yeah. and it was never that. It what that was supposed to be Harvey Dent Two Face, and I thought, ooh, even for the '66 logic. Okay, okay. how much <laughs> of that did we actually 
I mean, did we know no it was him, not one of his thugs or Doctor Strange? No, because like he had a line or something like immediately. I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe it was strange, but I, I'm I'm almost positive. You guys, as you've actually, seen my my it, my, 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 my uh, other thing is the infinite repeating mini bazooka. Yeah, that was the other logic issue she was having. <laughs> infinite mini bazooka, this big, it's like yeah. a water pistol. And the rocket was bigger than the bazooka. <laughs> the rocket was bigger than the bazooka. <laughs> bazooka, yeah. Yeah. And, and not only that, it was able apparently to store about four or five rounds in it. <laughs> You're like, there's where's I don't. Where, it, it, <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> right, but again, you know, you kind of let that go. Um, some of the stuff with Robin was great. We kind of got a two-faced Robin. Yeah. I thought it was cute that even like one leg turned green and the other stayed flesh tone. I love when Batman caught him. He's just smashing up the city. <laughs> He's like, there, there are more acceptable ways to blow off sting, steam, young chum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Young. Young chum. chum. <laughs> wow, okay, so apparently there's a lot Everybody more skill. Have fun tonight. <laughs> Everybody young chung tonight. She, I still couldn't do it. Um, that was not a curse word, by the way, YouTube censors. I said she. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so that was really funny. And he's like, you should join a, ba a, ba a basketball youth team and all that. Um, there's a moment later when <laughs> this is where our dirty minds came into effect. Alfred has analyzed um, the, the, residue uh, the, on the residue on Robin's costumes. And of course, we just both start giggling because we're thinking, yeah, there's going to be a lot of residue on the costume. <laughs> Batman even sends Dick to his room at one point, which is freaking awesome. And then, like, the very last, like, Robin line is, holy Hugh Hefner. And I'm just thinking, yep, there's a lot of residue on that costume. <laughs> so, so that was pretty awesome. Um, the dancing in the in the end yeah. credits, fantastic as always. Yeah. Alfred's got moves. <laughs> um, anything else? Uh, I think it kind of covers everything. The the uh, the the, the uh, auction uh -huh. for uh, Batman's uh, identity. Oh, yeah. That was kind of neat. Although the villains did what I would have said to do from the start, instead of auctioning against each other, it's like just pay one lump sum and. All of you get the identity. Yeah. But that was kind of neat to see them actually, you know, uh, see Harvey pull the cowl off of Batman, you know, because yeah. that was something you don't really get too much of in the original series like, in half costume. Like, when Batman goes up for auction, for the bachelor's auction. That was going to mention and that the, too. It's like, and everybody's like going, ooh. Yeah, even the guys and stuff. And I'm like, I get it. I'd be excited. I would auction off for a date with Batman, wouldn't you? I mean, other than the potential impending dangers of your life being threatened, but Batman's there to protect you. I, would you? I mean, that doesn't have to get sexual or anything. I'm just saying, I'd go on a dinner date with Batman. That would be fascinating, <laughs> especially '66 <66th> Batman. <laughs> Actually, that's what I, I can see that being like an, almost an SNL skit. Mmm. But, it, but this but, was funny though. <laughs> oh, burn <laughs> SNL. <laughs> but it's been one of those things. Just be like, if Batman just starts droning on and on and on, you're going like. <laughs> I'm so dumb with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you start like praying for, for, you see like the villains walking outside, like maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, that'd be, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Villainy going on outside and Batman just in the, the weeds of some uh, uh, obscure oh, oh. bit of justice. And, and you're going, but don't, don't. And he just keeps being like, it's impolite to interrupt someone's conversation, young chum. <laughs> so put, put, put. Now, now, manners, manners. Manners maketh the man. Just to crossbreed some things there. Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. But yeah, and again, look, animation, all that stuff, really, really good. Oh my god, 66 Batman meets the Kingsman. I want that. Yeah, internet, make that happen, please. And then send it right to us, because we just want to see it. That would be great. <laughs> All right, well, I think I, I can't really think of much else. I think that pretty because again, short 72 minutes, you know, not plot heavy, so yeah. there's not a lot to divulge there. But yeah, so anyways, obviously we really liked it, just not quite as much as the, the last 66 animation, but still. Because Breaking Bad Batman is hard to beat. And and the whole joke about seeing Triple Catwoman, and yeah. <laughs> there was some great stuff in Return of the Cape Crusaders if you haven't seen it. But uh. So that's our thoughts, but now I want to hear your thoughts. So by all means, geek out with us in the comments. Feel free to talk spoilers. We'd love to hear your favorite parts, all that kind of stuff. Ideas, you know, what what you never got out of these you'd like to see. What's your favorite Batman 66 villain or action? Oh, King Tut, by the way. Uh, and Bookworm. Pro yeah. pro prolonged, um, more expanded sequences where they yeah. actually had robberies and stuff. That that was something we should have touched on, but yeah, that, there's not much King more to Cut say. Yeah, was actually fun. 
Yeah, what the interrogation. So much? The interrogation where the chief kept bonking him to turn him into King Tut, and he, <laughs> King Tut kept bonking himself to not be not be under questioning. That was pretty great. That was pretty great. All right, well, anyways, guys, comment away. Let us know what you're thinking. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button and give us that good old thumb of encouragement as we do love to be encouraged. All right, we're going to get out of here. Go watch some more stuff. We'll see you all. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Later. Same bat later. <laughs> <laughs>